started. Ah, gold crown. Okay, well, I haven't played a Sicilian in a while, so let's let's do that. <clears throat> I was going to uh, try a dragon if uh, I get the chance. I haven't played a dragon in a long time. I gave it up because it was just too hard. But I thought, well, hey, they, they usually make uh, for interesting uh, games. I used to play it all the time. Yeah, they lets me. Okay. And, oh, this is not the most direct line. Uh, usually they go into the uh, Yugoslav attack. Uh, okay. This should be easier for me then. <clears throat> so he's got a castle kingside. Or not. The pawn here on um, h3 prevents my knight from coming to g4 and harassing this bishop. So, yeah, this is a, a technique to get a bishop to uh, e3 here without it being harassed. Um, but I think this is still okay for me. I just retreated that knight right away. Okay, let's start a little uh, queenside action. Need to get the bishop <clears throat> out to somewhere. And um, since uh, it looks like he might castle queenside or kingside, he could go either way. He might castle. Uh, so... Uh, Bishop here makes more sense if he's castling uh, kingside because it's uh, pointing in that direction. And then the rook here discourages him from castling queenside, in theory. Yeah, okay, so he goes for that, kingside castling. So, I always want to ask yourself, can you play, can you play d5 and just liberate the position? So d5, and he takes, yeah, he's just winning the pawn. There's nothing going on there. Um, no, let's see it. Is that true? <clears throat> pawn there, d takes, knight takes, knight takes, queen takes, queen takes. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. Now, if I play my knight to um, e5, he can just harass it with the pawn to f4, which is probably a move he wants to play anyway. So, and I can't play my knight here yet. Um, actually, I could play knight to e5 to um, knight to e5 to c4, and that would be harassing this uh, pawn over here on uh, <clears throat> b2. And yeah, didn't he didn't do anything about that? Ooh, this queen is this queen threatening something? I don't see it. Okay, he just planned, planned to take it. That was his idea. So I can take back with the rook or the pawn. Does this uh, knight have a good square to go to? I guess the knight could come here. No, it can't go there, there. Could come to that square. That's probably a good square for the knight. Okay, so let's take with the rook. Keep my pawns intact. And um, try and create pressure. Um, that's a bit of a target there, actually, uh, on um, <clears throat> and the knight on c7 is a target for uh, knight to uh, d5 here. A bit annoying. And this rook here indirectly puts some pressure there. I wonder if I should be moving my queen somewhere. Maybe just queen in the corner. So I've got uh, three guys hitting this up on now. <laughs> And then I can double my rooks on the C file. And uh, if he pushes a pawn, I can just take without fear of opening up the uh, D file. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I just take this now? Knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. No. Knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes, knight takes. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Cannot take it just yet. I could sack the exchange. Always an idea in these positions. So rook takes and queen or... Queen or pawn takes, and then I take here, knight takes, then I get a bishop here, and um, and I have another rook coming here. I, I, that looks good, actually. So we'll either double his pawns like that,
Hmm, after he exchanges, now he decides not to exchange. Um, <clears throat> knight to the square, knight to that square. Knight to here, hitting the rook. It's a possibility. Exposing my uh, weak, I have a weak uh, e pawn here. Let's um, do that. Now, oh, he can always come here with a check. Check. Yep. But this pawn being defended by my knight is pretty solid right now. And I can still go here, threatening his rook, and then back here, hitting the queen. Um, yeah, is there anything better? Is he threatening to take that rook takes, bishop takes? He's not really threatening to take it. So is this square on f5, is this a good square for that knight? Knight here, rook moves to there, and knight here, and he gets to double his rooks if he wants to. And I can play. <clears throat> well, the trouble with uh, the move d5 is it blocks in this bishop. How about just get the bishop out? And then I could play something like... Where's that knight going? Knight there. Hmm, let's see if I can slow down his knight's uh, evolution. <clears throat> Take that square away from the knight. And if he plays um, pawn there, I can think of taking it. And then this makes this maneuver a little more interesting. Although, uh, maybe I should have thought more about um, just uh, taking this pawn here on... Uh, taking the C pawn. If I'd left the knight there, then rook here to c8 would have been doubling on that c pawn. Now, okay, now there's danger. Danger. Let's see. So the immediate problem is just queen here, check, and queen there, mate. Um, is there a secondary threat of something like knight sack there, knight to there? I don't see it. Okay, so let's pin, I mean, defend, defend the pawn and pin his rook same time. I could even play queen here and just get the queens off. Queen e7, queen takes, knight takes, and then uh, grab grab this pawn. But he has, is he, does he have time to defend? <clears throat> yeah, let's try it. Go for that kind of in-game position with the... Uh, I'm down the exchange, but I have a couple pawns for it. Might be good. I was also thinking of uh, concentrating on that 
G2 pawn, but uh, I didn't see it working out. So how can he defend this? If the knight comes over, the bishop can take it. The rook can't come over because the bishop can take it. And, oh, that rook. That rook can defend it. Okay, so... Well, how many squares does this knight have? Can I can I trap this knight? Not quite. The knight always has that square. Okay, well, let's uh, take some squares away from the rook, anyway. And then kick the knight, <clears throat> and then maybe play bishop to uh, e4 there. So if I kick the knight, can't go there, 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 there. He can go to that square only, I think. I think that's his only square, and then I can play my bishop to here. And this uh, this knight, <laughs> the, uh, the rook here has been completely dominated by the minor pieces, kind of funny. So, where can he go? Uh, he can go back to here or here. I think those are his only moves. And then I can grab this pawn. Yeah, let's see what he can do now. The knight's defending that pawn. This pawn is loose, yeah. He's hitting my knight. <clears throat> now, do I want to trade knights and go for a pure... Um, yeah, if I don't trade knights, I guess I'm going to lose this pawn. I could defend the pawn and allow him to trade. I could take... Rook takes, and uh, then what? Is there some threat I can make with a knight stronger than... Uh, I guess these uh, the rooks are already on squares that I can't easily attack, huh? Need to get to that square where the, uh, where the bishop is. Okay, let's just... Um, Take. I have to take. I was uh, going to lose the uh, D pawn, it looked like to me, if I didn't do that exchange. And uh, after he takes, I can grab this pawn, but that's not necessarily the best. He can get down here and start eating up my pawn. So I think actually I'm going to play. Uh, D, <clears throat> D5 there, and hold on to the bishop. And um, get my king into the game. So I've got five on three here, and he has uh, two on two, but they're weak and isolated. Yeah, so he starts to uh, undermine these pawns. That's just the right thing to do here. But that does let me take this pawn. So I should I should reap these pawns while I can, I think. So now I've got three pawns and a bishop against a rook. And that might be a winning advantage now. Two pawns and a bishop is worth slightly more than a rook usually. Three pawns might be a win. But uh, no, there's no guarantee. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Okay, yeah, harass the bishop. And then uh, he's going to go after this pawn. Ah, the, the loose pawn over here is a bit of a challenge. So I get my king up to the center to support uh, these pawns. Uh, 
this makes my life a little easier when he uh, reduces the number of pawns there in total. I think. Because uh, my king has less uh, room than it needs to cover. So now I'm going to push to uh, e5 and get a pair of passed pawns here if I can. Yeah. And... Um, should I push or should I take? I think I'm uh, just pushing ahead, leaving these guys uh, locked in. Okay, now he's going to come around and attack these things from behind. Hmm. Let's just start pushing this pawn forward. The bishop is actually on this square. Here. Check. Now, the king is uh, too far away to stop this pawn because my bishop is guarding White that square. Resigns. Oh, he might have tried uh, bringing his rook back, but I think uh, this was a pretty good position for me. Okay, interesting game. I'm going to upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.